coming back again. So you heard the journalist just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a school of thought that uh, you know pressure from management, the pressure of TRPs. Your perspective as a management guy, as somebody who has most successful networks in the country. Yeah, I think. Uh, uh, you know, this is my philosophy when I've been running news channels for the last six years uh, and some entertainment channels. And before that, uh, I have basically made a career in television since 2005, uh, managing uh, non-mainstream uh, channels, as in I've not run a GEC. I have run everything else. I've run, uh, you know, youth. I've run uh, movies. I've run English entertainment, news, children, uh, music. All these are what we collectively call the uh, so-called niche genres. Uh, I can, you know, go on record on this. Uh, you can sort of probably sort of you know, tweet this. Niche channels ratings do not matter. Niche channel ratings do not matter. I said this when I was running Bindas. In fact, uh, Ronnie and me uh, sometimes used to have, uh, you know, uh, backroom arguments saying that MK, you are making these statements in front of uh, content people that ratings don't matter. We have been sort of pushing them for ratings and, uh, you know, this, uh, do you really, you know, think it will go off well? And uh, I did four years with uh, Bindas and I think Bindas, uh, you know, did very, very well uh, in that period. Uh, children's Channel, of course, uh, there was some ratings, uh, you know, indication, but again, children uh, genre uh, did not, uh, you know, really have too many advertisers because there are a lot of restrictions. So fundamentally, it was again a non-ad-led thing. And then when I came to uh, Times running your movie channels uh, and the news channels, uh, you can ask my editors, whether it is Rahul Navika or when Arnab was here, him or uh, Vivek, uh, who runs the English channels. I have never, ever, never, ever in any week called any of them in the last six years saying, why is the rating going up or why is the rating going down? Yes, I do participate in the groups, the WhatsApp groups or the Teams groups or the whatever groups that we have nowadays, email groups, uh, in congratulating. But not a single time will you have seen, will anybody have seen a time when MK Ananda said, your time spent is going down, pull up your socks. No. I don't believe ratings are the be-all and end-all of uh, right content. Uh, I completely, uh, you know, uh, agree with the statistical process of uh, whether it was TAM or Bach. Uh, you know, I, I, I genuinely, uh, you know, believe in that. And uh, I think the sampling processes, of course, there is corruption. There are process lapses everywhere. I mean, that can happen anywhere. It's just, it's, it's like, you know, our Bombay water supply or railway. I mean, it works. Let us say 99% of the times it works. So uh, I don't have a problem with the process. But I think, uh, you know, going only by how many people are watching you in a country which is so rapidly, uh, you know, uh, going down the bottom, towards the bottom of the pyramid in terms of, uh, you know, lighting up, whether it is electrification, whether it is uh, data, uh, digital, whether it is cable connections. Uh, you know, if you go numbers, the temptation is always going to be going after the uh, lowest common denominator. And it is very easy in today's day and age when you're looking at your so-called NCCS classification where... Uh, a certain number of appliances at home, irrespective of whether you have bought it uh, in second hand uh, or on, uh, you know, uh, on installments or uh, outright, uh, you know, you're making everybody uh, the same. I mean, people, uh, an SEC A2 uh, or even an A1 is not very difficult to sort of qualify in that situation. And therefore, and content sensibilities are so much different uh, going down the, uh, you know, the population pyramid. And, you know, uh, a, a country in flux, a society in flux, uh, it is so much easier to get great numbers by, you know, continuously lowering the focus from the top of the pyramid towards the bottom of the pyramid. I think uh, at, the, at Times Network, uh, the brand itself, if you see my logo, uh, the, the top of the Times, there is a, there is a square, which is actually an invert. It's, it's a pyramid and there's a small red dot on top of it. We focus on top of the pyramid. And uh, that is something that, uh, you know, uh, we believe we need to cater to. And uh, yes, we are numbers, uh, you know, we are numbers sensitive in the sense that we believe that our ratings, our reach, our penetration has to be high. But time spent, absolutely, I do not consider time spent as a, mo as a, as a uh, motivating, inspiring, guiding, driving factor at all. Reach, yes, because reach means 
I'm able to get, uh, you know, put pressure on my team to ensure that the content is not just seen in Bombay, but also seen in Udaipur. If it is seen in Udaipur, then it is also seen in Chittorgarh. If it is seen in, uh, you know, uh, you know, Chittorgarh, and then in in a in a small town, a uh, small small uh, uh, village or uh, part of the Chittorgarh uh, district. So I think reach is a very good driver because it helps us drive. If you if you know, uh, we went from about 300 plus headers when I joined the group uh, to 3,000 plus, uh, you know, in just two years. The idea is to light up for the sake of lighting up. And I think uh, monetization by ad sales is a huge, uh, you know, uh, uh, steroid that we are all sort of, uh, you know, put this whole business on, uh, this, this, this patient on. I think uh, you need to get them out of it. And uh, I think uh, more number of people would mean, uh, you know, the potential of getting subscription. I'm a huge, uh, you know, advocate for subscription. And when you go subscription route, uh, there is no need for you to sort of be ratings led. Uh, I have presided over in this company where I am here. Uh, the current subscription number in six years is 10 times the subscription revenue, 10 times, uh, Anil, uh, that what we were having in 2014 when I came in. And we are today, you know, quite positive. I mean, from a because, you know, subscription also has a, the whole, uh, you know, packaging cost, marketing cost. In the earlier times, it used to be called carriage costs, etc. Uh, so we actually have to benchmark ourselves on what is called as net distribution income or NDI. When you when you're sort of when you're looking at NDI, uh, in fact, you should start looking at the top of the pyramid more because then you can charge a channel fifty paisa, one rupee, three rupees, five rupees, depending upon the quality of your channel. So I think uh, you know that is the other thing. Uh, I have routinely, whether it was UTV again, when UTV and then Disney. Uh, in those four years, we drove the subscription numbers, uh, you know, very aggressively. And here, uh, I think this has been my, you know, greatest uh, happiness that, uh, you know, we've gone up by about nine times this year, nine times over 2014 numbers with a very large number coming. In fact, we are, I think, 54% of our revenue in 2021, FI21 is coming from subscription. We are not ratings led. In fact, if you really ask me, uh, the total ratings led business in my, uh, in my total top line, is uh, is less than twenty five percent. It was higher, much higher earlier. It was uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was ninety percent or something. Ninety percent. It was ninety percent. Ninety percent. It was uh, you know we didn't have any uh, any uh, branded content or so called uh, content led uh, you know premium led uh, ground businesses or digital earlier, and we were ninety two percent ad led, which was entirely FC uh, you know TRPs led. And 8% subscription led. Today, we have 54% subscription led. The uh, rest of it, uh, about 28% uh, is about 14% is uh, digital and 14%, 15% is branded content. So we are only about 20% uh, uh, TRPs led, of which, of which again, mind you, uh, times now, TRP uh, business is to me uh, less than 11, 10% of my total uh, TRP led business, which means, to be honest with you, uh, TSV does not matter to me at all. It does not bother me. I mean, I am very happy when they do well. Uh, but I am not one of those managers. Rahul, uh, if he's still on the call, uh, can confirm that. We do not have any conversations on why is your ratings down or up. No, we don't. So, so you know, I can hear you. It's <laughs> going higher and higher up for you. You see a scenario where, uh, uh, you know, right now will convert itself, its dependency to 90%. Hmm. Rather than fifty two percent on subscription network, no, yeah. I don't think that will happen. No, because our audiences are uh, very uh, premium, and uh, our audiences are premium, and our reach uh, uh, management is very very aggressive. Uh, therefore, at any point of time, I can assure you, uh, forty to forty five percent of the top end audiences in this country, uh, you cannot meet them unless you operate through Times Networks, uh, English movies, and English news channels. So I think uh, we may not pursue them, uh, you know, for the sake of uh, survival, but uh, that's a very, very uh, solid uh, audience that is for us to, uh, you know, monetize. And it is also a very solid audience that advertisers cannot do without. And therefore, uh, I don't think it's going to go below the mark uh, that we are currently at. Uh, in fact, it might go a little higher because I'm talking about this is 22% this year because of ad sales being lower. I think... It will settle at approximately ad sales to uh, subscription will settle at approximately 40, 60, which includes the 40 will include digital. 
I get it. Yeah. So, so, so you know. Yeah. What about the news channels? You know, the news cluster that. Yeah. Bloomberg is a paid service. Of course, it's a terminal service. But across the world, business news channels and news and news channels. In India, we have this phenomenon where we have high dependency on advertising. Uh, I don't think, uh, uh, Anil, uh, that there is uh, that higher dependency as it is seen from the outside. For the, if uh, English uh, and business news, uh, for business news channels, not English, English there is. Because I think CNBC has a commendable, admirable, and uh, uh, you know, I'm you know, something to be envious about uh, subscription base, uh, a very solid subscription base. It's a, it's a fantastic brand. Of course, they also have great ad sales, uh, but I think they have a very good branded content business, which is not the RP like. So I would, uh, you know, from the outside, maybe you can con confirm this from Rahul uh, Joshi. I don't think it will be more than uh, 30, 35 percent of their business would be uh, FCP. And uh, so, which means 65 percent is anyways not ratings led. Even the 35 percent of theirs, which is FCP led, uh, where they are competing with us because there is no other player in that market. That is a TRP situation. If you see in the last five years, six years that I've been managing, there have been times that uh, ET now has been 35-40% and they have been 60-65%, sometimes 70%. There have been times we have been 50-50 and there have been times where we have been 35, we have been 60%, 65%, they have been 30-35%. I don't think it has really bothered both of us that the ratings have swung between that because advertisers have uh, evaluated us on the intrinsic brand strength on the on the popularity with the constituencies, which are the important constituencies, which is the BFSI and the and the and the stocks, uh, uh, in the, in the market uh, circles, the financial market circles, and they have uh, the the ER, the, the the actual number that you can actually you know, look at as what what really would determine or what would really give you an idea of what is the brand strength, comparative brand strength, is evident in the ER. I mean, CNBC's ER versus ET now. Yes, CNBC's. Even now, even though their ratings uh, in many occasions in the last one and a half years during the NTO, post the NTO, their ratings have been lower than us. But the ER is higher than us. So I don't think the advertiser is so concerned about the ER, uh, so, so concerned about the ratings of CNBC. They give them a higher rating. The same thing is the situation with NDTV. NDTV's ratings have been down in the dumps for ages, but they still are today the number three channel when it comes to ERs. So I don't think, uh, you know, these categories are that, uh, that uh, yeah, yeah. So should you know then 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 why this manic race or manic race to get yeah I don't know why this manic race to do shows which uh, attract uh, which which are dramatic which are attracting which are which are not news per se as we perceive them I I I think uh, uh, two reasons one uh, gamification of anything. Uh, interests uh, the the reptilian brain in us. Anything, you know, uh, you know, if we were to sort of say uh, the number of people who are viewing uh, the show, the the, the interviews of uh, uh, your summit today, and uh, you know, you are going to give this as comparative below here, saying that you know uh, the interview done by X Y Z had uh, you know five hundred viewers, and you are now at four hundred and you know whatever forty viewers. Uh, you know, you and I would do something if we could to try and bring it up, right? So that is the instinct instinct of the human being. Uh, the, the ones who are running the show, which is basically the marketing distribution uh, guys from the infrastructure point of view and the anchors and editors from the content point of view, there is a gamification because when you're saying that I'm getting a weekly number in which I'm higher or lower, uh, I don't know whether you've seen the movie Anchorman. There is a continuous, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, pushing and pulling of people, sort of really, uh, you know, people passing each other in 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 social and making side snide remarks that I'm bigger than you. So that is a, a very important thing, and I think uh, all of us as practitioners, uh, at some point or the other, are responsible for, uh, you know, falling prey to the gamification of it and feeling, uh, you know, mine is bigger than yours in terms of the number is something that is the, the whole the whole ego trip that is there. The second is. Uh, as I said, this is a market uh, in a very, very high stage, high development phase. I mean, we are probably, if we were a human being at a, at a market level, India is in the range of, I think, uh, an eight-year-old uh, or an uh, eight to ten-year-old who's like, you know, growing so fast. And uh, India is very underserved in terms of various things. And there is a, a, a lot of uh, entrepreneurial energy which is getting released in various circles. And I think this, if you, you know, because this is TRPs, because this is television, because this is, uh, you know, show business to some extent, 
uh, whether it is GCs or news, this gets uh, attention. I'm sure the same situation is happening in the bikes industry, in the chemicals industry, in the hotel industry, in all the industries, because there are new entrepreneurs who are coming. And when new entrepreneurs come in, uh, the first thing, if I and you were to go out and launch a channel, the first thing that you and I will try to sort of, uh, you know, benchmark is the number, because the number is the easiest to get. So you want to become the number one, uh, the become become a noted English channel, you benchmark yourself against Times now. You want to become a noted Hindi channel, you benchmark yourself against Asta. Or, or ABP or Z News. I'm talking about because English News has a bunch of four or five of them who are, uh, you know, who are, the, who are the big ones. So, so, uh, so if I was, uh, uh, you know, the latest launch, I mean, uh, Barun did a fantastic job. What would he do? The first thing that I would do uh, if I was to launch that what was to try and get to the numbers first. Because a brand is built over a period of time with activities, with ground, with, you know, standing up for causes. I mean, I'm sure all of them will do that. But they don't, they, they don't have the luxury of the number of quarters, number of years that Times Now or Aaj has had. So it is easiest for you to break into the noticeable set by getting the numbers. And therefore, uh, in, a, in an industry where there are many launches coming up, because, uh, I mean, today we are looking at uh, the top five as legacy players. I'm talking about the Hindi news space and the next two as, you know, uh, challengers. But, uh, you know, 10 years back, uh, even an India TV would have been a challenger, right? I mean, you had Aaj Tak and you had ABP. Uh, and uh, maybe you had, uh, uh, you know, uh, NDTV and News 18. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, you know, this is with, with all you know, apologies in advance to any of the players that I'm not taking. My point is, India TV was a disruptor at a point of time. So they will have to do activities uh, and content and distribution to ensure that they very quickly climb up because it is a logical and easy way to consume, convince the consumer or the or the viewers or the advertisers or the or the you know general uh, you know uh, society at large that we are as good as them because our numbers are as good and there in a current situation it is easy to fall prey to temptation and do content which uh, like uh, rahul was saying sas bahu and sajish i mean i mean it's done it's definitely not journalism i'm sure the editor who did it uh, himself uh, you know if you go and ask him today he'll say yeah i mean but that was required because i was at that time trying to bring uh, my channel to number five or number three or number two or whatever that he was trying to do. So I think these are the two reasons. One is gamification. Two is, uh, you know, market in a flux and therefore uh, new entrants find it easier to sort of uh, use numbers to uh, make the argument that we are as good. I get it. So what does it behoove the, what do you call the legacy players? Uh, you know, this opportunity of this TRP break, what, what, what should we do during this phase? I mean, what is needed to be done? How are we, you know, how are the deals going to be happening? I, I think, I think, I think, uh, you know, uh, the one is that uh, the, the current break uh, that uh, we have is on account of, it's not a break because of content uh, quality at all. There is definitely, uh, if, if, you know, what we were doing uh, was continuing and the TRP scam had not, uh, you know, been unearthed, uh, we wouldn't have a break. So I don't think we should uh, connect the two. At least I wouldn't connect it. I don't think... Uh, uh, between uh, Rahul, Navika, Vinay, uh, you know, Nikunj and me, we've had any conversation that, uh, you know, uh, is a ratings break now, we can do content that we want, and, you know, we, because I believe genuinely that we are already uh, serving uh, the viewer, uh, you know, and the viewer as we conceive the viewer to be, and a product that we conceive to be, uh, quite, uh, you know, quite, quite honestly and sincerely. So I don't think, uh, you know, a player like us, uh, who has not really been besotted by uh, the ratings from a TSV point of view. Uh, I, I, you know, you can, uh, Anil, you can look at, uh, you know, we have had a big history, 2017, 18, uh, 16, 17, because we lost, uh, you know, our, our prime asset, uh, our greatest, uh, you know, uh, center figure uh, uh, on times now. And then uh, we, we sort of, uh, we uh, managed that uh, huge loss. And then we also sort of defended ourselves against, uh, you know, almost uh, sibling uh, rivalry kind of conflict because you had a bunch of people who were practically mirror image of ourselves without the brand. And uh, if you see, uh, you know, if you can, you can do an analysis of it, you will see that we have never, ever, ever been time spent, uh, you know, focused. We have always been reach focused. You know, we, we did things like opening up the morning for Hindi uh, to increase the funnel. We did things like the landing pages. We did things like opening up a lot of uh, smaller uh, you know, uh, MSOs 
uh, to ensure that more and more people were drawn into Times Now. We've always gone a reach route. So when we are not time spent focused, uh, I assure you, uh, none of us are, uh, you know, at the management level or at the, I, I wouldn't call us managers because as as owners and custodians of brands like these, we cannot say that, you know, we are business CEOs. We need to also be content focused and responsible to the viewer. Similarly, people like Rahul and Navika uh, uh, and uh, Nikunj and uh, Vinay, these are also people who are not just content focused. They're also sort of uh, brand and business focused. Uh, we have uh, not uh, been culpable uh, of, uh, you know, the kind of uh, uh, basal, or, you know, or, or, or lower end uh, kind of content that uh, generally the, the industry is currently being uh, being uh, made, uh, you know, being ridiculed for. So yes, I don't I've think... Been into a yeah. thesis. I don't like calling myself a reporter anymore or a, or a journalist because... Or the bad name, and so, so according to you, the no, 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 no. I, I, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think that is that is wrong because I think uh, social media has empowered, uh, you know, just like you know, all technology empowers, all technology empowers. Uh, but technological empowerment also comes with one very bad or negative uh, impact in, in certain places. Like technology empowers a lame person to walk, let us say. Technology empowers a partially blind person to get restored vision. Uh, technology empowers us to do a lot of things. Technology empowers us to fly when we are not built to fly. Technology empowers uh, the idiot to become an expert also. Okay, technology empowers the idiot to become an expert. And that is great. I mean, because technology is able to bridge the gap between, uh, you know, uh, formal education. Like, you know, today you and I can actually, uh, you know, Google and uh, get to know what are the best tents possible. And what are the care to be taken if you have a multi-stent angioplasty? And what are the medicines to take? And what are the reactions to that medicine, etc., etc., etc. So, I mean, you and I, cardiologist idiots, are capable of becoming way better than the 1975 cardiologist idiot. However, you know what is happening also? Out of 100 people like you and me, there are at least 10 people who break ranks and go and argue with the cardiologist. Many of us may not. So when I go for an angioplasty, for an example, I know these things. I don't argue with the guy. But there would be 10 to 15% of those people who say, Are, I was there. I didn't know the doctor. I didn't know the So, and some of them come back and tweet. So I think uh, technology-empowered idiots uh, are dissing the experts in all fields. And I'm giving you this example of cardiologists because, you know, we are all idiots in that space. Journalism is the same situation. Reporters and journalists are experts. They are people who have given their lives to it. They could have done businesses. They could have, you know, uh, you know, done, done. They could have become an artist. They could have become X, Y, Z. They have decided to choose the difficult task of being journalists and reporters. It is not an easy job to be a journalist and a reporter. They have given their life to it. And after 20 years of working as a journalist, down comes MK Anand and Anil, uh, Anil here. And we are saying that, you know, what are they saying? They are saying that social media. Pe, Social media is going to general media. Pe, aur wo hum sabne milke isko aise banaya hai, ki we are all now saying that journalists are idiots. All the journalists are idiots. No. It's like saying all the dentists are idiots. All the cardiologists are idiots. All the politicians are also idiots. Now, politicians are the most biggest idiots. So, you know, try being a politician for bloody one term. You will realize what it is. So, so this whole dissing the expert is a, is a characteristic of our times. And I think the journalists should take heart. Like all of us take heart. I mean, we are in professions, you and me, Anil, not you, you are still a content person, who are way back in the in the back room. So we don't get, uh, you know, uh, you know, trolled. Uh, but but the people uh, who are out there with their faces, they get trolled for everything that the company does. Now, they have to sort of, you know, go out of that. And ultimately, that's an eco-chamber. Uh, the whole social media thing is an eco-chamber. You know, uh, there is a uh, there's a false charge against me right now for sexual harassment from a, from a, Employee who was, uh, you know, uh, taken out for three years of long, three years of uh, of, of uh, non-performance. Now you know what? First week, troll started because you know uh, she started and somebody started, and then um, uh, you know one media company called Huffington Post, uh, even though they got all the details from us, chose to only pick up uh, you know a couple of paras from our, our our entire response, and uh, you know it became it became painful. But in three days, my wife told me stop looking at Twitter, stop looking at social media. I don't even know what is happening today. Yes, there is a cell which is monitoring that. We are sort of, you know, looking at our legal remedies, etc. But for me, that was a great learning. And I think, uh, you know, smart reporters, whether it is Rahul or Arnab or 
uh, Navika, etc. These are people who are not uh, not directed by 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 uh, the social media at all. So I think if you don't get directed by social media, all reporters who are genuinely out there working do not feel that it's it's bad to be a reporter at all. I understand. So you, in your in your opinion, news media is <laughs> fixing now. Uh, you know, news media needs the, the, what the fixing that we require right now is something that I've been at least uh, subject to in the last four years since 2017, and that is uh, the fixing of the back end of the measurement mechanics. Uh, I wouldn't uh, call the current management of Bark uh, is is I think very very good. Uh, Sunil is really really uh, you know trying to bring uh, you know a lot of uh, sense uh, to the to the process. But you know this is after all India. Uh, there are too many people who have uh, aspirations to, you know, get rich too fast uh, and can't blame them because they're seeing, uh, you know, shining lights around all of them. Some of them use corrupt means to sort of uh, break ranks and, uh, you know, whether it is inside bark or outside bark. And that is something that we've been seeing. And that, of course, is used by the, the Johnny come lately to sort of uh, get a shortcuts to uh, get to the numbers. And uh, I mean, uh, you know, it's available and it's cheap. So why not? I mean, people like us have all the money. So we spend crores of rupees. I mean, uh, tens of crores of rupees, I would say. Twenties of crores of rupees on landing pages. You know, they don't. So it's possible that they get tempted. Their managers get tempted. And uh, that is uh, that is definitely not something that is acceptable. That's like saying that, you know, the exam system is not acceptable if cheating is rampantly allowed. For four years, Anil, I have been crying hoarse. And, uh, you know, multiple times we've got some uh, in some relief. But multiple times we've seen that it just doesn't work. There is corruption. There is, uh, you know, panel tampering happening. And this is a fantastic occasion for, uh, you know, the, the entire system to put the house in order. And I'm not saying Bark uh, may, uh, you know, by itself. And I'm, I'm saying it as myself. I'm not saying it as an NBA board director here. So NBA's views are different from, uh, maybe different from what I'm going to say. I think uh, the processes... Uh, are in a, in a state of uh, improvement and the continuous state of improvement. And I'm sure it has been in a continuous state of improvement since Bark has been formed in 2015 under Partho. But under Sunil, and because uh, there is this, you know, there has been a lot of din, I think it is a exponential J curve of improvements have happened. So if will this three months impre- increase improvements on inside Bark? I am not very sure because he's already doing whatever can be done and he'll continue to do irrespective of this. However, externally, the Hansa system. The, the ground system, the, the the need to have some kind of a legal remedy. Uh, you know something, uh, uh, Anil, we have found out instances of tampering and it was not a criminal offense. So it was not getting registered as a police complaint. Now, for the first time, it has got registered as a police complaint for whatever reason. We hope that this becomes a deterrent for people to do it because I'm sure the same uh, same same strategy can be used to convert this into a criminal complaint because a criminal complaint deters on the ground because it, actually yeah. it is done by those 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 you know those small uh, you know uh, you know the 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 the, the, the pseudo uh, juvenile underworld operators uh, you know who are actually you know making these in one lakhs of rupees can you believe it and this is hundreds of crores of rupees are being leveraged with thousands and lakhs and I am told 500 rupees a thousand rupees per day per month is what they pay I mean it is ridiculous the amount of money we spend up in marketing and distribution and landing pages and so, against that this is a small yeah yeah so I'm just trying to understand so the industries continue to be fissioned in the middle with one bunch the NBA bunch and the non-NBA bunch doesn't that mean fixing in some way there is no non-NBA bunch in NBA bunch I mean uh, all the leading broadcasters uh, in the space are in NBA and NBA is a 15 plus year old organization. Yes, that, I get that. Yeah. But you know what's so happening? There is, is, there is one renegade member, one renegade member who did not uh, probably feel comfortable, uh, you know, uh, being uh, not part of the board, for instance, in the first year of his operation and decided to go and start his own operation. I mean, that cannot be said as the fission of the, of the industry. It's one member and a few, uh, re, you know, uh, small members from here and there uh, that doesn't sort of uh, make it a fission at all. I mean, it is. It is a. I hope they, you know, sort of also come and join us back. But uh, I don't think that can be called official. I wouldn't even consider it official. So fantastic. So uh, advertising revenues are coming up. Festival <laughs> season is coming up. There is no ratings. Conversations are going on well with advertisers, or you know, some yeah, of them. Yeah. yeah. No, I think uh, advertising. In fact, uh, in our case, uh, and I think I've spoken to people in the industry. Uh, all of us are seeing. October numbers are higher than last year's October numbers. Maybe it's a pent-up demand, 
but uh, getting to last year's numbers and higher than last year's numbers is a huge huge uh, i mean you can also say that last year was not so good remember that Absolutely. we were in the middle of the economic downturn already last year but uh, uh, you know year to year october is registering a growth for uh, our news business and uh, that's i think uh, an indicator uh, of uh, you know the advertisers are uh, you know reposing faith in the category and uh, all is well i don't think numbers uh, really matter uh, i mean whoever cares to listen to me i keep telling my my colleagues in the industry uh, let us all start pushing subscription let us stop getting besotted by trps and life will be a lot better thank you very much on that note uh, good afternoon to you and have a good time wherever you are and hope to catch you sometime soon i am in goa okay have a good time bless you thank you